Welcome back guys to Final Fantasy 7 where last episode with our odd jobs completed we headed back to Aerith's home finding Rude of the Turks waiting for us on the way. Resulting in a battle until he was called away on another job with Cloud and Aerith spending some time in the garden together before turning in for the night. However, with Cloud asked to return to Sector 7 alone by Elmira, he snuck out of the house and started on his way back. With Aerith already having predicted his leaving and awaiting him, they took the trip together through the collapsed expressway of the Sector 6 slums, breaking through Beck's badasses and puzzling with mechanical arms. Time to stack some boxes! It's interesting how they've placed puzzles in games like this, in a weird way. It's interesting to see how they facilitate it. Place the container when can I place it then? There we go. I actually have to move the hand out of the way, I'm pretty sure. It will reset. On its lonesome. So I have to take her for two trips. First trip is to the red boxes, then over to the loading zone. She's not going to jump that distance. <laughs> Basically the time waster kind of puzzle. Yeah, but <laughs> I know this sounds really kind of weird to say. But it's in really lush looking puzzles, so <laughs> I think like all the animation on that. <laughs> it's one of those that because of other things it becomes a joy. You might want to move, Aerith. There we go. Also the music's pretty good. weird because it sounds like it could have been a legitimate dance tune back in a bit ago. Thanks for the lift. I'll have that ladder down for you in a sec. It's that right mix of the old tune with all the new bits. Alright, where can I go? Where do I want to go? Where can I find? Can I find? No. Is this the last stage? That went pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? He's so precious. <laughs> we must protect him. Right then. Onwards, onwards. Right there, <laughs> you want to pass through our territory? <laughs> then you gotta pay the toll. Keep it together. I'll show you what I the can do. The toll is, yeah. you will die. <laughs> From a big arrow that's going to hit this guy, and then it's going to get most of you in it. Okay, well. Fire material improved, fire material improved, ice material improved. We get it all. Ah, Aerith. Nuclear of bandits. Does she ever need a bodyguard? Jury says no. Better than needs as well, Aerith, by the way. You can wreck your back doing that. Cloud, up top! <gasps> yeah, you destroyed so hard! 
Hello. All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <sighs> Come on. You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <sighs> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Are you okay? Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. We could, we could play in the park a bit more. I mean, the door's closed and all. <laughs> Don't have much more of an option, do we? Well, okay, let's see if Soldier training. <laughs> oh, Timmy. <laughs> didn't mean to go back. Just checking the place out, you know what I mean. All right, what's down here? Is what most people would say. Bottle of ether. A random cave in the middle of a park. Can I get the swings? I can hit the swings properly. Won't take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Want to get to Sector Seven in style? This is the passageway for you. Okay, getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. <laughs> I'd literally be better for me to take you back. At this point in time. I don't want to say goodbye. We just hang out together. Do you want to play the swings? 
Turn on the swings today in the night. Come on. Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. No. Aw, you big softy. Gonna miss me? I was hoping for more. More seeds! Anyway, there doesn't seem to be any quests around the place. Can't head back around or go to anywhere else. Looks like we are just going in. Shall we? Wondering if saying no would have a thing. Yeah. You're coming too, right? Uh -huh. Tifa? Cloud, you're alive. I thought we'd lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are, he'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on, aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Come on! Okay. Well, seems no matter what we're going that way. Air respect! Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! Yeah, 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 yeah. Safety first. So anything back here I could check out low next to the gate? Is there a cool button? Someone to say open up please, I wanna get in. How did he get through? Now we're that darn close. I mean, obviously we're on the edge of town and all. Still in Sector 6 technically, but still. Haha! <laughs> that sign pointed where to go. Hey there! Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's in great shape. She's a great fire. She's great at handling the books. <laughs> I mean... That would be the most obvious to this guy, to be honest. She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. 
She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. I mean, I didn't think it meant. Didn't know it was about you, Aerith. God. Good job today, boy. It's just like I've been saying. There's no faster thing on two legs than you. I was just saying because that's the identifier that this guy would probably get. No other reason. Now I'm feeling like I should take this sign all the way with me now. <laughs> Let's go, sign. <laughs> no, the dream is dead. Hey, newbie. This delivery isn't due for inspection. Huh? These ones addressed to Don Corneo? Yes, idiot. Those ones. Ah! Trust me, kid. There's a lot of things you're better off not knowing. Uh, g got it. Yes, there is. But we're about to delve into that den of iniquity. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. What's the offer? So, what kind of mischief you looking to get up to tonight? I don't know. What's the offer? Well... Here we are, and it's gonna be kind of crazy. You two, yes, you. Do you have a place to stay this enchanted evening? We have the perfect room for a sweet-looking couple like you. Uh, how much? How much? Loud. <laughs> Just give me a holler when you change your mind. I, I always wanted to know the room prices. I was wondering if he was ripping me off. I wasn't. Am I going to say the wrong thing here? No preferences we can't accommodate. No, sir. Welcome. Are you in need of accommodations? No, I don't need to sleep. Also, it doesn't seem like it costs any gill. I'm just checking the place out. You know, I've heard from more than a few people that my son Johnny has been roaming the streets of Wall Market. Before he leaves town, I need to make sure I deliver him his lucky pillow. I have faith in my boy, of course. But a growing man needs plenty of sleep. Sleep of good quality, no less. That's how mind and body stay healthy and active. In other words, this pillow is crucial to his health. <laughs> I actually agree. My pillow is everything to me. My wife is back in Sector 7. I thought it best she wait for me there because the establishments in this town are uh, provocative. <laughs> of course, I haven't been to any myself, so I don't know what goes on around here. Not in the slightest. <laughs> Keep up your story, Mr. Johnny. And I hope you've wore... One... Use your dalliances and all. Oh shit! I must have fallen asleep or something. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We just can walk into people's rooms without them just barge in. Fine. Oh, this is what I get for being a cheapskate. A room with a hole in it. Okay then. Well, they're not those kind of rooms then, by like things. Listen to that guy. Don't like sharing a room. They get the hell out. It's more like a hostel. Ah. Wait, what? I don't know about you, but this place sure is a lot weirder than I thought it'd be. Yeah? What did you expect? You know, something less... 
You're a bit too straight laced, but she's up for it. I <laughs> Sorry, Teeth. Sorry, Arif, sorry. Oh, my God, I apologize. Mm -hmm. She's been staying at the door, silently judging me as I look around. Alright, where am I going? Look at the guy but myself. There's loads of places to go to. That old weapons vendor is total weirdo. He's not a bad guy. Weapon well, vendor, you say? Okay, I got under the wrong pizza. Sounds like specific music. What's up here? It's a big engine. Okay, former weapons vendor. You aren't selling weapons anymore, but I'll steal your stuff and run away. Don't mind me, a bit of casual theft. Why are people even out here? Not anything to really look at, is there? I guess there's a jukebox, but still. Was it the cheapest section of the place? No weapon shop. Materia box. Gotta monetize everything. Hey there, friend. Grab a seat. Any seat that's open. So, what will it be? I don't know. I can't actually take a seat. Made a little extra. Take a look, see. This one's got the sights and sounds of a place like this, eh? What's he doing? I feel like I should know. Well, there's one shot. Oh, no, that's not a shot. What's in here, then? Hey there. Are you looking for anything in particular today? No. Closed doors. He lost the cell there. What are you doing here? Cloud, I will go wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. Kids got money from his shin and where it comes to Wall Street. Tisk tisk. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I've registered a new summons battle intel request. Please, take a look. I haven't even got to choose my previous one. Summon entity so I can complete the materia. All right, I've already completed some again. So that's pretty oh, cool. Yeah. What's the one I complete? Combat situation, fat chocobo. <laughs> Data compiled from monsters has resulted in the successful reproduction of a fat chocobo, the spirit often associated with fertility and harvest. Combat behavior is yet to be tested. Engage in simulated battle to gauge performance. Defeat a fat chocobo. We've got monster bio part three. I've already got that. So item mass material is now up. Parry material. While analyzing the stagger effect, I verified the existence of a peculiar behavior presumed to be acute response to stress. Theory suggests this effect can be harnessed as materia. So basically, I've got used Tifa to hit a stagger bonus of 200% for parry. A to be assist for a trigger refocus two times. The activation of refocus results in accelerated attack frequency. Could applying said phenomenon to material produce similar effects in allies? So that's how that goes on. That's what refocus does the limit break them. A stagger effect, I still need to get 40 types staggered. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. The question is, can I beat Fat Chocobo? I've done it. I've developed a new materia. What one did you do? Item Master. Good the effect of item used in battle. 30%. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Is Arrow on me or is Arrow on Aerith? And does Aerith enter the battle too? These are questions that I think are very important right now. 
pretty sure it's on Aerith. No, it's actually on Cloud. I really thought it was on Aerith. Wait, I'm really confused now. There it is. Don't know how I'm missing that repeatedly. But I am. I just think that maybe a bird might be a little bit weak to that in general. Let's take in as many spells as I can. Magnifies well, expand range of linked materia. Effect reduced by 60% when expanded. What? I mean, I didn't have a linked materia to begin with. Is that with all then? Kind of look cool, didn't it? I mean, Steel's probably my least useful one on you at the moment. To be perfectly honest. Let's take Item Master for the battle and see. I guess I'll just see what this guy's got in store for me. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I fear this fat chocobo. Because I'm guessing I'm going then in on I my own. I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. Maybe I should have put Shiva on. First of all, let's find out its weaknesses. Air's here! It's just incredibly tanky. Too bad. Who are you? What? He's got 47k HP. A pleasingly plump summon recreated in virtual reality. The manifestation of the legendary Chocobo, a symbol of fertility and good fortune. Fat Chocobos appear in many a beloved fairy tale. It doesn't have any weaknesses. Do I just have to wail on it for 10 years? Yes. Yeah. Say that's it. Fingers crossed, Koopo. You just trying to bomb me, Moog? Are you helping me, Moog? Am I calling you, Moog? I need to get out of here. There's an evil bomb here. Don't you dare explode on me. Best do it right. Right, weaknesses to nothing, immunities to wind and fire. A plush toy of unknown origins conjured by a fat chocobo looks like a certain monster with four letters in its name. Bomb. One more shot. <laughs> yes, bomb. Where, where? Get ready. I feel like I'm being played for a fool a little bit here. Right. Yeah. I like how he's supposedly pressured, by the way. It's dead. It's fine. It's dead. It's not trying to get me. Still in it. You oh, really pulled everywhere now. Ah! Get him. Won't last long. Yeah, I won't last long at this rate. I mean, I've got my own summon coming at this point. Been pressured by air spells at least. In the meantime, I've been run over several more times. <laughs> well, I've got a summon. Get fired up. 
staggered him. And now I can do damage. More big spells. More big spells. This is gonna hurt. Did I just get buffed? I feel like I did. Fat Joke was lost a fair bit of HP. I've got a living Tomri chasing me. Running! It's coming to do something! Bombs away! Stay strong, okay? Go on! Let's all run away from the bombs. That's it! Seems heavenly strike I have to get him to stand still a little bit there. Versus Icicle Impact, which is a bit more. Let's get serious. Here we go. We gotta do this again. It's pressured. We need to keep hitting it. Bombs, guys! Bombs, Cloud! It's fine, I'm running away. I'm not sure if Mog has actually helped me or not, but there's a statue coming my way. <laughs> Ow! What are even One doing with shot. his life at the moment? This is my ass. What the? Doesn't feel like he's being helpful to the overall saving of everything. Get the Tomri cloud. He's feeling pressured. This is the time to hit him again. Seems he gets pressured after Which everything he does you? anything. More big booms coming. How's this? I think we're almost done. I guess I better use refocus on this one. That really sucked. I know I have it in me. That gives me a third AT buff, Fiba. That's pretty good. May have got the stagger, but still, more guys are coming in like crazy. Okay. Cactus here as well, by the way. <laughs> Things are getting crazier. Up. There's little things everywhere. Ruby light, that's for flex. Uh oh. Hey. Man, I need you to go to work here. It's not fine. It's not fine. You're blowing up. Let me choke about. Of course you got me then. Pressured at this point as well. Pay attention. Refocus is pretty good. Go on. Uh, 
Do anything you can to build up that gauge. During the pressured period. As long as I can keep myself safe. Things aren't going terribly. We're on another limit as well, by the way. What happens if I refocus again? I can. Works for me at this point, I guess, but... I'm hoping that hits Tombri too. There's bombs everywhere. There's bombs everywhere. Gotta heal first. Why am I flying around everywhere? I've got a limit for ages. Sorry. I just haven't felt like I've been able to use it. That's what I've been waiting for all this time. You're mine. Damn it! There's just so much things! Out of luck. Gotta be careful. Got some serious damage in there at the very least. Choco cure it! You better be casting it on me, not anyone else. What's it doing? Not looking good. Feeling good. Depends if I get cure off or not, doesn't it, really? Wins, please. Wow. It's like I can't even move when I want to. Try this. But finally took it down. See you around. Oh my goodness. Hi, Fat Chocobo. That was a bit of a battle. Truly amazing work, Cloud. This is incontrovertible proof that the universe has a sense of humor. Now that you have a fun new partner in Fat Chocobo, you can work together to squash Shinra like a bug. We have Fat Chocobo. Ten kill an hour. You push me. I'm glad you can go with someone else though. All of your future battle intel submissions. Well, Chad Lee, thank you for the summon. I don't mind picking one up every so often. Still a bit surprised by what was going on. You like a piping hot bun? I like piking hot buns. Now where am I going? There's the item shop here. Sell me a song. You look like a very interesting guy though. Can we talk first? Hey there. We're a pharmacy, but we suck other stuff too. We need a pharmacy in this town. Honey be in. Still got a good stock of high potions, etc. So I'm not too bad there. I'm not having to give up cash for that at the moment. What kind of juice is this? Yeah, of all the places to lose a wallet, indeed. So we're back around to here. Right, because this place is the most confusing place ever. Magical materia shop. Very magical. Look at him. 
see the sign out front? All I got is materia. Man. But what materia? Anything new? Of course, we got binding one recently. You sleep? Only that to cure sleep, too. That'd be pretty good to, like, crowd control some things every so often. Oh, we've got one of everything you own. Thanks, buddy. See ya, buddy. Yeah, sorry for knocking you. We're getting out of here. There's something downright wrong with this place. Why are you here then? Oh, can't go in there yet. I feel rejuvenated and alive. It's like I've got a brand new body. Well, I've managed to do is go out the other side of this. <laughs> Like, where am I headed? Over here? There was a weapon store, but I'm sure I went there, right? Where is over there? I basically covered the whole town. <laughs> sweet, sweet man of M, eh? Okay then, enjoy yourself. So I went ahead right here. And left at this turn? Ugh. Warm, relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Oh, that's what I need. Johnny, where are you going, Johnny? Hmm. Huh? Oh, to enter or not to enter, that is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? Uh, no. Yeah, I should have figured. You're not the philosophical introspective type like me. That soft, naive face. I know you're kind well, bro. You're just another musclehead who uses violence to work through your inner demons. It's sad, really. Huh? Yeah, what's up? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Keep us here. Why? Tell me why. Oh, God, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She came looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you. Tifa, I'm coming, baby. Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. Where's he gone now? He just led me directly to the area I need to be, didn't he? No, maybe not. Still down that way, supposedly. My apologies, sir. We are not ready to open at this time. Okay, where do I buy this song, though? And why is there a secret? Hello? <gasps> what? Hi, bee lady. Uh, aren't you that... Leaf house? Uh, hey! What the hell, Merc? Digging into people's personal affairs in this town is a huge no-no. What are you doing here? Uh, well, if you must know, I've wanted to be a dancer ever since I was a little girl. I come here at night to live the dream. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell the children, okay? Yeah, I would tell them. Why would I tell them? You live your life, lady. You're already doing, like, great service. Whatever you do with your nightlife, it's fine, baby. I've always wanted to dance for a living. Well, dance your night away. I feel it would be kind of hard to dance with that on your ass, but still. Gotta stay sharp, though. Lifetime bands a lifetime band. It is, you know. Where can I buy this music, people? I didn't used to be a honey girl. What are you talking about? Eh? I'm so excited. Uh -huh. <laughs> a little too much. Maybe the breeze will sober you up. I just need to wait here a little longer. She ought to be out soon. Uh, I can't believe I bought the same disc twice. Uh, excuse me, sir. If you like, you can have it. What are you talking about? Hey, I got a song called Farm Boy. I know she's not supposed to see any of her customers. Just by wandering around a little bit more in this crazy old town. 
Yes, there was a back alley and everything. It's insane. There's people everywhere. Okay, I'll go this way maybe. Half off? What? That's a great deal. Okay, we'll head up here. Towards the weapon shop. Do you sell a new sword? Welcome to Walmart's premier weapon shop. Do you actually sell weapons though? Ah, oh, hard edge. A mighty blade able to cleave in one stroke anything foolish enough to stand in the wielder's way. Has the ability Infinity's End. Wind up an Unleash No Red Strike. Increase damage on stagger. Costs 2 ATB. A uh, yes, a please. That's all I will say to that. New weaponry! Also, we're getting the second tier of attachments by the look of it. With bigger boost, there's a headband for sleep. That could be pretty good, too. I'll buy one. I've got money for it. Do come again. New weapon. Such a big town. That is the same option. However, I don't want to equip before I upgrade it, do I? I want to see its full stats. Its full potential. Lots of attack ups, that's for sure. Materia? Buff extension, magic attack up. Some attack fours. These are on the eights, though. Okay. There is no extra abilities. It's kind of disappointing. No extra slots, but crazy physical power. I mean, I'll take it, you know. Not so much on the spell side of thing, though. Now, Stagger Siphon. Recover HP when dealing damage with unique abilities to a staggered enemy. Sounds pretty cool. There's no increase there, it's just straight attack damage boost, aerial attack damage boost, punish the most strong attack damage, crippling damage to discrete enemy parts again. Or oh, not so discreet. I mean, you can get the attack plus fours, but it meant way more to get like the higher tier stuff. So, for the magic attack one that's here, that's only plus one compared to what we can get on the eight stage. Just kind of sucky. And I could get two eights at the moment. So that would add a lot of physical damage, but we lose a material slot. We lose a fair bit of spell damage too. Iron Blade seems to be best for that after all. But again, we do need to learn new abilities, because why not? More abilities better, right? He says. What's the what's the material I'm losing? Wind. I'll switch that over. Also we got the join up on that material as well. My spells went down. What's the proficiency bonus as well? Strike a staggered enemy. Some of these are really easy to learn compared to other ones, aren't they? You just see it and you go, well, that's easy. <laughs> so we kept arrow on. We just lost spell power. Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Well, here we are. And there's more than one place to go to. Though, walled off the side rooms by the look of it. I'm going to go down here first. I see the little secret passageway. A bottle of ether is obtained. My sword looks very shiny silver now at the very least.
Hello, you guys. Who are you? Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Dom's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute. Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. If you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Okay. If you're hell-bent on getting in, then go bother the trio. I will bother the trio a little bit, then. At least we now have our plot progress forward point. But this just looks also like it's setting me up for quests. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio, right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Well, at least he's well-meaning. At least he's trying, right? All right, so we're either going over here, which is Sam, over here, which is Madame M, or over here, which is Andalea or Bodea. I guess we should start with the entrance guy first. Coliseum tournament? What's going on in here? Well, there's a treasure chest in here, so good that we went in. Pulled in by the interesting stuff going on. Oh, what? <laughs> Just bought one of them. That kind of sucks. Alright, so way out is over here. Let's go speak to Sam. Find out how to gain his approval, if anything. Wait, what? What were you thinking? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Crawl into a hole and die! You need a help there, Johnny. Okay. Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa. She's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? 
Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong. And you'll leave me in peace. No deal? There's neither heads or tails. This is a rigged game, obviously. No thanks. Oh, not a gambler, huh? I am heads! Huh? Hmm? So glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. If you couldn't figure out that was gonna happen though. Might have obtained his coin, at the very least. Alright, next is Madame M. Wait, have we been in here? Yes. I did a loop of town, didn't I? You get lost in this place so easily. Chadley, why are you here? Where is Madame Hem? Which way do I go to get to Madame Hem? There's definitely something to do. Where am I now? Also, if we're all gonna have nightlife here, can you like clean up a little bit? Just saying. Shouldn't it be a bit more nice for everyone? Just clean up some trash. Thought this was our town. What are you guys doing? The boss breathing down our necks like that? Hold it. Best to steer clear of this alley. You may not like the people you find down here, and they may not like you. We're cool though. Just blowing off work is all. We're not up to anything. Honest. We just want a second away to relax. In the way of my treasure chest. This alley is like a sanctuary for us. You should see it in the daytime. Empty. Hold it. Best to steer clear of this alley. Okay. Not like so you're saying I've got to come here in the daytime to get this treasure chest because no one's in it. Chest blockers. Yeah, that's a good idea though. She stayed out. Mm -hmm. What about this alley then? Hello? What's everyone doing here? Oh, my stomach! <laughs> okay. Hey, bro! This ain't no place to hang out, you feel me? Ain't nobody gonna give a shit if you get your throat cut here. Hey, Will. Hey, bro, this ain't no place to- Ain't nobody gonna give a shit if you get your throat cut here. He's got bad indigestion. Can you leave him alone a bit? That's a treasure chest. <clears throat> Can I get there, though, again? <laughs> what happened with you? Aren't you a curious cat, walking dark alleys? You've got balls, so I'll give you a pass. This once. Wait, you don't mean the newbie too, right? I said deal with it. Can't have this coming back on Sam or the Dawn. I can't get through. You didn't see or hear anything. You get me? I hate you. Why are you all blocking chests and alleys, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Laughing like weirdos and... Oh, lovely weather we're having. <laughs> this lovely boiling, boiling, broiling weather. Nope. Oh. Can't get in. Cool, can't get chests. Bad. Even if there's a clear gap between one and two. There is no option to do. 
something down right wrong with this place. Something down right wrong with the alleys, that's for sure. Oh, there's this energy pulsing from my fingertips. I guess they're closed right now. Looks like Madame M is the last one to check out then. It's like I've got a brand new body. And there's actually an order to things here. So let's head to the honeybee place again via all this trashy filled land. Hmm. Yeah, right. Hey, Johnny. Damn, man. This the place? What's it supposed to go down Think like so. this? Uh, Let me handle just this. Wanted to see Andrea. You wait out here, okay? And why would I do that? No, like, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Well, the, doors are about to open. the lovely Honeybee Inn is opening up. But I think we'll save this for next time, because there's so much stuff going on in here. The rescue of Tifa is underway. And we'll continue with this, and I want to keep playing, it sucks. What? That's not true. Every time we end a session now, I'm like, there's right here, there's right here, there's a thing. But I'm boiling hot, and it's time to go to bed. But I want to just keep on playing more of Final Fantasy VII Remake. But we have to wait. Exploring more of the town, there's a lot going on in it. But it seems like most of the thing, we've got big population areas for the last quite a bit of the game. Less so much of the guided areas, but we've got to go here. And then over to Madame M's after that. To save Tifa. Back over at Don Corneo's mansion. So we'll continue on with this next time. I'll the see you then for more. Here. Poor Johnny. Poor Johnny. I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you so demoralized. <laughs> I'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye. <laughs>